Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Gloomhaven. Uh, the last episode went on for quite a bit of time, so we're going to push relatively quickly through this one. We're going to start off with the city encounter, then we're going to go back to the bandits. It was a truly marvellous night, full of alcohol and fuzzy memories. You headed back to your rooms in high spirits when you take a wrong turn into an alley and trip over a mutilated corpse. What's all this then? You look up to see a city guard walk into the alley, annoyed by all the noise you were making in your revelry. Before you can react, he draws his sword. You... What did you do? You look and see that due to the fall, your clothes are now covered in blood. The guard clearly thinks you're responsible for the man's death. This night just took a serious turn for the worst. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna not kill the city guard. Do our best to explain that the man was like this when we found him. So our reputation is going to influence the cost of items at the merchant's shop and the outcome of certain encounters. Good deeds are rewarded, but there's so much less fun. The choice is yours. Yeah. Attempt to explain yourself just seem to make the situation worse. More guards show up and everyone eyes you suspiciously. Luckily, your weapons don't match the man's wounds and the guards let you go, but they do so with a mistrustful glare. So we lose a bit of reputation, which it sucks. But I would much rather that than we lose prosperity on the town because... As Gloomhaven's wealth increases, more things will become available to us, and we can start new characters at a higher level. Back to the Black Barrow. Now, we've already seen yeah, these the uh, dialogue bits, so I'll we'll skip past them quite quickly. Let's see if we get an encounter on the way. Walking a path between a small grove and steep cliff, you suddenly find yourself facing a massive group of felled trees blocking the road. The placement of the trees seems odd, and you have a wary, suspicious feeling about the whole situation. Yeah, let's um, let's clear the trees. The trees aren't part of an ambush, but that doesn't make them any easier to clear. It's grueling work, and by the time you arrive, you're exhausted. Discard three cards. Youch! So we, we lose a turn and a half each. Um, it's it's not as bad as a curse, I would say, but it's it's still not great. For the scoundrel, that'll affect us a lot more. Okay, we get to um, to pick where we're going with this. So, have one more monster present on the map at the beginning of every round during the scenario. That's going to be hard to pull off. Masochist might be possible. Your health at the end of the scenario is equal to two or less. Sure. And Blunder is going to have a take only long rest or cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed on your turn or on the turn of one of your summons. We could maybe destroy uh, an obstacle with that or push someone into a trap. That could work. Now we want to try and take these guys all out efficiently. Uh, choose three to discard. Um, geez. All right, let's get rid of Venom Shiv. Let's get rid of Special Mixture. Actually, no, we'll keep Special Mixture. Let's get rid of Trickster's Reversal. And we'll get rid of Backstab for now. They're only discarded, they're not burned. Um, it's just not nice. Uh, we'll definitely keep Massive Boulder because Massive Boulder is amazing. I also like Dirt Tornado. Let's get rid of Avalanche for now. I suppose this is just temporarily, isn't it? We want to get retaliate on ourselves as quickly as possible, so we'll keep opposing strike as well. Uh, we'll get rid of rock tunnel and earth and clod. Take care of these unfortunate. 
Right, you're going to start there. Over here, we want to pull him forwards. So we're going to have smoke bomb for certain. And then we want a decent attack. Flanking strike would work on him. Single out would work on him. Single out. So we want you to go slightly slower than 12. Well, that's easy. If we go for unstable upheaval... We'd need to kind of get between them, and it, they're not positioned right for that. Uh, I think we're going to want Dirt Tornado, so we want something that's going to be faster. Yeah, we could use Unstable uh, Upheaval for the move. Or maybe Rumbling Advance for a move. Yeah, Rumbling Advance and Dirt Tornado. These guys are going slow. That's lovely. Okay, now pulling these guys in, we're going to end up damaging the ones at the back, unfortunately, um, but not him. Unless we pull you forward to here, and then single out isn't going to be any use. I think getting him in and doing five damage to him is the, the best plan. Pull you to here. Give him a stab. Yes! Good damage there. What's he doing? He's actually going to move, attack, and then strengthen. And the other guys are going to move, attack, and then strengthen as well. So they're going to move two. Really, I don't want to be next to them, but I don't think we're going to have much choice. because we're going to do one damage to our own guy. Let's, um, it will allow us to put more damage on these guys, though. Is it worth us taking one damage in order to do that? I'd say it probably is. So we're going to go there, then back. receive the damage oh we can't actually uh, use that earth element until next turn uh, so if we put it here it will model this chat or we could put it here and get these two uh, what you're gonna attack with three yeah you know what that's that's fine okay that's that's reasonable I'd say Uh, we'll take the damage. We do need to get ourselves damaged. Strengthen means his next attack will be stronger. Well, yeah, I'll just take the one damage on that. That's not bad. Not bad. In terms of these guys, we could Thief Snack and Flanking Strike just to make sure he's dead. So that means 
you're doing something useful. If we do backup ammunition and crushing grasp. No, we want something that can... Oh, an opposing strike. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, we need to get that elite guy killed. These, these are going to be some painful hits. Uh, start with. Start with this one. How far are you going to move? You're going to move two. So the Kraghart's going to be targeted. Especially if we move like this. Kraghart is going to do retaliate. So these guys will hurt themselves on him. And we'll get backup ammunition. And I think that's as nice as I like it. Three damage? Yeah, we'll take it for the moment. And we'll take the two damage over there. It's a shame they didn't go after him. Yeah, throwing knives in a special mixture. And over here... Crushing Grasp is great. So that's our attack move and Massive Bold would let us just move. This guy's gonna um, suffer a dis well. We're gonna suffer a disadvantage on attacking this guy, but this one we should be able to kill without any problems. All right, that worked well. And then we can come through and grab this. Always a new. And grab the gold. We'll get to keep the gold at the end, so that's never going to be a problem. Uh, let's attack you, and then we'll move up to the door. Eight damage. Wow, that was a bit over the top. Uh, I think we're going to do a long rest next turn for both of the guys. Uh, so we're going to heal up a little bit on each of them. Long rest. And... Ooh, we do have backup ammunition and we can push someone back. We'll do a long rest next turn. We'll do these two to allow us to push in Okay, so we're using this as the move to open the door and then come through to here. And then we're going to do a ranged attack on both of these guys. And you're going to get pushed all the way back to there, triggering both traps. Look at that. And uh, you're going to get pushed all the way back to there. I very much like how that went. Uh, 
Uh, what are we going to get rid of? Venom ship's got a lot of movement. Maybe... Maybe smoke bomb. I don't think that's going to be as useful anymore. Okay, if we use Venom Shift to move in quickly, that's five move. Or we could use Backstab to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not enough to get us in. But it will get us damn close. And then throwing knives. Backstab and then throwing knives. Over here, I think we'll do a long rest. So we're just going to end up tanking a bit. But that's fine. Attack 2, range 5. Attack 2, poison. But he's not moving. So we should be safe. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Our rogue is going to get shot. But I'm okay with that. This feels like it's going a lot better than last time, at least. Two very unlucky rolls there. And he got unlucky as well. Puts down a trap, though. That's cute. It'd be nice if we still have pull. Okay, here comes the long rest. And we're going to burn. Unstable upheaval is great if you can get right in the middle of things. Maybe we'll burn rumbling advance. It's got two targets to it, so we want to keep Earth in Clod. Actually, no, we'll burn rock tunnel. Okay, over here. If we can get next to this guy. Move three and poison one, so special mixture will get us right up next to him. And then, then a flanking strike's just a decent, uh, decent thing. Yeah, so we'll do that. Special mixture and flanking strike. Cragheart, we need you to kind of kill this guy. So if we're going to do Earth and Clod as the attack, then we need something that's going to move you closer. Earth and Clod's got a range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can just do anything to move. So unstable upheaval to move. Scoundrel. Uh, go this way so you don't hit the uh, hit the trap. Poison him. So poison just means if they take damage, they take more damage. And we'll try and get a decent hit on him. It's three damage. The boulder from over here will still do more. So we're going to move in closer. And then hopefully kill both of these in one go. There we go. Big one's gone. And the little one's gone. This has gone exceptionally well. Question is, do we push straight into the room or do we look to loot? Now, we can only grab stuff by ending turn on it or by using a, a card that's actually got loot on it, like uh, throwing knives. Uh, the range is how far away we pick stuff up. Uh, knowing that there's two skeletons in there and then two 
archers. We could... I feel like we need to keep pushing forwards. We are going to take damage as we go in. There's no, no real way around that. Uh, we could do um, Thief Snack to disarm the thing right next to us. But I, th I think really we need to move in and start doing damage. And then after we could do th yeah so venom shift to move in trickster's reversal to just do a regular attack i think that's what we're gonna do and then the following turn we'll do thief snack and single out to do lots of damage over here we want something that's going to move us in a little bit and then we can crater using our backup ammo so if we use crushing grasp to move actually we could use rumbling advance to move and then crater So, we're going to use this to do the actual, in fact, yeah, we can, we can get the element on the way. Kicking through the door, nothing more. Hi, right. We can immediately see what these guys are going to do. So they're going to shield and then they're going to heal themselves. So there's no real point in attacking these guys this turn. Except they're the only ones in range. Oh, that's a big, big potential. Unfortunately, they're gonna they're gonna heal up everything. Look at that! Massive stack of shield. There's no longer a treasure chest over here. Uh, there is lots of gold dotted around everywhere. Archer attacking with disadvantage. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take that one damage. That's that's fine. And I want to charge in, and we're going to use Trickster's reversal to destroy one of these things. So Trickster's reversal. On you. Killed him in one. I love it. Okay. Uh, so next up. We can't really. Thief snack and single out. Will allow us to do two, two straight attacks. That's great. Avalanche would be good if I can get in to do it. Dirt Tornado as well will get these guys all muddled. So, Crushing Grasp and Dirt Tornado, I think. Okay, we can work with that. Right. Start off on you. We need a bit more to kill him. It's not quite there. Hopefully the crack heart will get him. Oh, we're immobilized. We are taking a little bit of damage though. Um, I'll use that. get the dirt tornado going now should kill the skeleton oh no we're gonna have to move in first undo I don't think 
we can actually go on the same space as someone, can we? Regardless, we don't want to because we don't want to suffer a disadvantage for the dirt tornado. Extra damage on you. Oh, look at that. How unlucky. They're muddled at least, but that's that's really not cool. Um, I will burn two discarded cards rather than taking five damage there. So what are we going to burn? We're immobilized, so I don't want to burn throwing knives. Maybe backstab. And single out. Ouch, that was painful. Uh, we need to do a short rest. No, don't burn the throwing knives. Sure, burn the venom shiv. We want to use the throwing knives and thief snack and try and take these out quickly. It's going to be avalanche and massive boulder. This is going to be slow, but it is what it is. Try and kill him, please. Cool. He's dead. That's all I care about. And then throwing knives on both of you. How unlucky. At least one of them's good. That muddle is really, really useful. Now we can move you forwards and you can start looting. There's two gold there and there's two gold there. Let's Pull you over this side. And we might be able to kill this guy. No, I should have done it the other way around. That is a mistake. Well, maybe, uh, maybe our rogue will get a little bit more damaged. Two, 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 two. We could do a short rest to get back our throwing knives and loot everything within a two, yeah, move and then loot everything within a two radius. Actually, no. We'd need to have already moved in order for that to work. So we will use these to move and we'll try and keep him alive for one more turn. And this is because we want as much loot as possible. Uh, we're not going to heal ourselves up. Yeah, if we move to here. Let's do it the other way around so we can move a little faster. Over here, we'll do a short rest. Get rid of rumbling advance. Actually, Rumbling Advance might be a great one. Oh well, I've already got rid of it. Uh, in terms of loot cards, we've only got the one. Just Crushing Grasp. So we want to move again. In fact, we could we could maybe. Yeah, if we do Unstable Upheaval to attack him and Crushing Grasp to do the loot. And we're still moving faster than him. So let's move you into here. Skip the attack. 
And I guess there's a little bit of gold. And I think the Cragheart will do the looting. Pick up what's nearby and then we'll just kill him. We don't get everything... Um, uh, everything else on the ground automatically at the end, which is why it's important to try and loot as you go. Oh, wow. Did not expect that to happen. Take the damage. Uh, right, we want to drop our health down to two, so we're going to do a short rest, and then we're going to... Redraw, taking one damage. And we're going to use throwing knives to kill him off. Maybe I use throwing knives to loot. It's a tough call. If we're using this to loot, then the Cragheart can go in and kill him. Yeah. So the Cragheart's going to kill him with Earth and Clod. And if that doesn't work, Crater. Between the two of them, there's definitely going to be enough there. So give us all of the gold. Now we had one card spare to burn for that otherwise I would not have done that that would have been way dangerous if we tried otherwise uh, let's attack him and we might be able to move up on him if it doesn't end immediately and get his gold And that's gone all right. With the last bandit dead, you take a moment to catch your breath and steel yourself against the visions of living remains ripping at your flesh. Your target is not among the dead, and you shudder to think what horrors still await you in the catacombs below. So we got the perk point for the Scoundrel. We caused a trap to be sprung or disarmed on our turn, so Cragheart also gets a perk point. Um, I think it's three perk points and you can get a, an upgrade. Um, but that's, that's really, really good. And they killed five enemies each, so nice and even there. Our first quest has been complete. Six XP. And we've unlocked the Barrow Lair. New quest is to kill the Bandit Commander over there. Occasionally you'll come across linked quests. Linked quests share a narrative arc and are encouraged to be completed one after the other. By going directly to the quest, you'll avoid running into road encounters. If you prefer, you can return to Gloomhaven by clicking on the location on the map. Remember, while outside of Gloomhaven, you cannot buy or sell items, level up or create new mercenaries, or retire current ones. It's good that you can't retire them. That's uh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, we're not going to be able to level up. There's nothing really that we can afford to buy. Um, so there's no need for us to go back to town other than for a city encounter. Uh, so I think next time we'll push on into the barrel lair. But that's all we're going to have time for for today. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Gloomhaven. See you soon.